Hello, my name is Jeff, and today we are going to build a email class that allows you to send emails uh, using PHP and object-oriented uh, programming. That will also include uh, putting an attachment of pretty much any kind of file that you want. Uh, PDF, doc, uh, text, uh, PHP files, it doesn't really matter. You'll be able, when it goes to uh, the uh, recipient, they'll be able to preview in the body and uh, several other items. So uh, we're going to get started by building the email class and then moving on to the index, which will uh, uh, call the class and uh, send out an email with an attachment on it. Let's uh, see if we can uh, get that all done in 10 minutes. If not, maybe we'll have to do a second video, but uh, we'll do our best to get it done in one. So let's put our PHP tags in there. And then we're going to come up here and say class. And we're just going to call it email. And we'll set that all up to start writing inside here what our mail function is going to be. And we'll just call the uh, function, no, oh, I don't know, email with attach and uh, once we get that going on we're all ready to uh, write some information about what we want this function to do when we call this class so let's first set up what the properties are that are going to be used within this function and I'm going to type those out and then I'll show you what they are. But basically there's going to be several of them to give us a little bit of flexibility. And we'll just be able to call the function, type all that stuff in, and uh, bingo, bango, bongo, we'll send off an email with an attachment. So here's the parameters we're going to put in. We're going to put a from address, the to address, we'll have the subject. We're going to put a, a mail message head in there, a mail message main, and a mail message sign. And what that's going to basically do, it's going to break the body into three parts. In the mail message head, we can say, hello, this is from who, or whatever message we want to put in. Down in here, we're going to uh, write it. This will be the uh, variable for whatever information generally that we want in the body. This one here will be, hey, thanks, appreciate it. The last one, or, or the next to last one, is the file path. Uh, this will allow us to stick in any path. And then we're going to put a file name. The reason that I don't put all these together is just to give a little bit more flexibility. But if you want to put them together and just uh, have less variables, you can. But this makes it very flexible. All you have to do when we start writing our index page, which will have variables and settings for them, all we have to do is uh, simply type in a, uh, a file name and the path to getting to it, and we can break these things into pieces. It just makes it easier for me, and that's the way I do it. Now I'm going to put a couple more parts, and I'm just going to cut and paste because there's no need for you to be watching me type and everything. But uh, let me put the first couple lines of code into this function, and then we'll briefly talk about what they are. So here's our first three lines, and let me make it just a little bit bigger for us to, to see here. And basically what it is, is this, of course, is going to be the file name, which connects into what we're going to put at the end of this uh, uh, function when we set everything up. Uh, this is file attachment name. This is the file attachment itself, but it's the path, the entire one. So the part where in our function it says file path and file name we're going to put that all together and that will be where it has like a slash template uh, a temporary folder and then the file name or whatever it will get all put together the next one is the file type we need to be able to designate the file type so when we start building our email it will uh, operate and bring these attachments in and be able to uh, uh, work properly uh, with Outlook and other type mail services. The reason I put application and the uh, Octec stream is because that really allows you to do multiple different kinds of fights, uh, files, different types, PDF, doc, whatever. Otherwise, 
you would have to change this so that it said like application PDF or application doc or image uh, JPEG or image uh, GIF or, or whatever the case may be but by using this particular one you don't have to keep changing what the application type is because this pretty much deals with most of them all with just that one setting so let's look at the next few lines so the next couple sections here is a pretty straightforward the email from we're gonna put in uh, the from address which of course is uh, uh, up here in the uh, in our parameters then we'll have the email subject and these are the three pieces of the email body where you can see that we are just simply connecting them together by a dot equals dot equals and we could put a whole string of things down here that we could start breaking up going into the body and we will have some more parts as we go down through this code but basically that's the initial uh, beginnings to it and we're still just building up the parameters that are going to be used when we send the email so next we're still building just the structure here uh, obviously we had our messages now we're going to have the email too we're going to start building our headers the from and this here is where we're going to start dealing with our attachment as you can see it's the file attach which we had set up up here and we have the read we're going to find the size and then we're going to close out the file so basically we're just putting the information about that file into a couple uh, variables that we can use when we start setting up the structure of the body and using our uh, content settings so that this attachment will work when we send everything out so next we start getting into the meat of setting up our email and uh, the structure for doing the attachment which we're going to take uh, this information we're going to create a random uh, number and start our mime setup as you can see we're going to use that random number to uh, give a uh, placement start then we're going to add to our headers with the dot equals within here we're going to put in our boundary we're going to start adding to our email message so that we can have this background structure which will allow us to get all the uh, information of the attachment and stick it into our uh, email so that uh, when they do previews it will show up in the body of the email and when they uh, say open it will uh, go out and grab the proper uh, program or application and uh, view whatever is uh, being sent as an attachment so we have a couple more connections with the email messages and we have another attachment or a connection with the uh, headers that we're going to send so now we build a little bit further on at this point we start uh, putting more into the uh, mail we create the data this data is going to get encoded from what we took out of our file up here where we uh, where we broke up our file and opened it up and read information we're now going to grab that encode it put it into our message as you can see we're just tying everything together putting in the content types of file names and closing it out with the end of the boundary here and that's really the whole structure that we need to do to set up our email except for the actual send function which we'll do right now now we're going to take all that structure that we just created and we're going to stick it into a mail and we're going to say if this mail which is the mail function itself the uh, to the subject the message and the headers if all that stuff gets sent out we're gonna return true this is a function you want to return something and all we're gonna simply do is that when we send it we want to know that it truly got sent so we're gonna return true so when we write our code in the index page we can simply say that if this function operated correctly it will uh, send the true and we can say if it did okay mail sent successfully and we'll get into that index page in the next video because I'm not thinking we have enough time but I'll try to squeeze it in and if not I'll cut it out and go to the next video <laughs> actually uh, you're gonna have to come back for video number two for the index page because I want to send several different files so that you can see that uh, this function will work whether you're sending a PDF or a uh, JPEG or 
uh, a gift image or whatever you happen to be setting, uh, uh, you know, a, uh, a Word doc. It doesn't really matter. It will send them all. And uh, we'll do all that in video number two. Hope you come back to see how we use this class and this function in order to send emails with attachments. Thank you. My name's Jeff, and see you in video number two.